All right, uh, let's get this over with. I've uh, never seen this video before. Yeah. You only play her at the beginning of the game, which is good because she never grows as a character and is just unlikable. There's and I have to love that audio editing. It makes me sound like William Shatner. Okay, yeah, I, I uh, agree. That it's a little bit spaced out. I'll, uh, I can fix that, so yeah. I'm acting! Yeah, well, honestly, uh, the voiceovers, I think they're fine. There's just, uh, too much spaces in between them. So, uh, yeah, no, I, I agree with that. I, I can, uh, fix that up easily. And Fox needs to put the rest in to save her. Of course, when he first... Hey, and, and at least I'm not shouting like, you know, others. He's her. He falls in love. So typical. I bet he beat off to that. Uh... Wow. Wow, you know, honestly... Only a furry would state something like that. Moving on. Mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Such a pain to avoid. So, every single adventure game has that. No, they don't actually. These mushrooms, they spread their pollen or whatever at such far distances, it, it really is a pain in, in the ass to avoid those mushrooms. No, it's not just like any adventure game, all right? Those mushrooms are a pain in the ass. Right there. You can't avoid that. You, you can't avoid that. Look, look at that gap right there. All right, see how small that gap is? You can't avoid that. You'd have to go around it or, or something like a different path, you know? So, no, those mushrooms are a pain in the ass. That's a valid point. If you want to make uh, some valid points, why don't you go criticize the low quality? I, uh, what I did is I, when I edited this, I did it in Final Cut Pro, then I exported it, then I put it into After Effects. But for some reason, whenever you export from Final Cut Pro, the, the quality is, isn't really that good. So what I should have done is, you know, do everything in After Effects, so, which is what I'm going to do now. You know, you could have said something like that. You could have said something about the color correction. The colors are a little bit weird, so you could have said something like that. You know, the, the whole spacing thing in between the words, that's, that, that's a valid point. But my criticizing the mushrooms, because, you, you know, they really are a bitch to avoid. So, criticizing that, no. Moving on. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Such a pain to avoid. So, every single adventure game has that. And no, not every single adventure game has mushrooms that spread pollen. That's, no. Not every... I don't know any other adventure game that has those uh, giant mushrooms that spreads pollen like halfway through whatever route you're running through, you know? Like, and that ladder, I'm serious. So many times, I, I, when I climbed that ladder, I inevitably got sprayed by that pollen because it sprays at such far distances. So, you know, if you want to criticize a video, at least, you know, make some lo uh, logical criticisms. Don't just, you know, pull things out of your ass. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, it's, it's basic platforming. No, it's not basic platforming. Look, look at that ladder. Look. I climb that ladder. See that mushroom right there? It's a pain in the ass. Yes, you can avoid it. Yes, you can. But it's still a pain in the ass. Sometimes I'm just casually walking around, and I don't always want to keep having to, you know, avoid those mushrooms all the time, having to force myself to avoid those mushrooms, you know, like when I'm looking for stuff, it's, it's, it is a pain in the ass. It's my opinion. This adventure game is too much like an adventure game. This adventure game is too much like an adventure game? No. I, it's I, it's too much like Zelda, yes, but not too much like an, an adventure game. Yeah. Oh, the stupidity. Oh, man. Oh. There's so much it's called time tracking because... What, 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 what did you say? What did you say? It's called time tracking. It's, it's called what? See, at least when I do my voiceovers, you can hear every single word. What did you say there? I, I, you slurred that line. I, I couldn't hear you. So before you criticize others with their voice uh, acting work, maybe you should, you know, improve on yours. You know, like, I, what did you say there? Speak clearer. That's my constructive criticism to you. Okay? You made one good point so far.
because everything artificially lengthens the game. Look, I come all the way down here, but now I have to go all the way back to buy a lantern. Without a lantern, do I? You know, you do this in Zelda games too. Oh no! Oh yeah, you do do it in Zelda games. Oh no! Go look at part three. What? What? Or, or some, I don't know. Maybe it's still in part two. I don't remember. But what did I say? At least backtracking in Zelda is fun. But here it's a pain in the ass. Look at that. In the same review, I, I, I mentioned what you just said. Oh, oh, uh, you, you gotta do a lot of backtracking in Zelda too. Yes, you do. But I said in the review that at least backtracking in Zelda, it's fun. And there's like reasons for it, you know? Here, there, it's, it's all artificially lengthening the game. It's not fun. There, there's like, it, it's just... You know, it's not fun. It's it's bullshit. In Zelda, it's fun. There's like more reasons to do your backtracking. Here, it, it feels tacked on. Okay, maybe I, I didn't go into that much depth, but I, if I keep going into so much depth, depth in all my points, the review will drag on for like an hour. It won't be as you know, it'll get boring having to explain every single point with so much detail. It, it, it just it drags on and on and on. That's why I keep all my points limited because I automatically assume the audience will logically fill in the gaps. You know what I mean? No. Zelda, it's fun. Here it's not fun. I say that. Ah, oh, yeah, damn it. Go and see the shopkeeper. Which means I have to climb the longest fucking ladder in the world. Apparently he's never played Metal Gear Solid 3. I, okay, first of all, it's a metaphor. Second of all, the world refers to Dinosaur Planet, actually. I said the longest the longest ladder in the world. What? What is the world? Well, I'm in Dinosaur Planet, so I guess that means the longest ladder in Dinosaur Planet. So if you want to be technical about it, technically I was referring to Dinosaur Planet when I said the world. And if you don't buy that, it's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. Okay? Oh, oh man. Oh, please, please. Like, like, like watching this I, like, is equivalent to like cutting the top of my head open and, and blending my brain with horse shit. I'm serious. Please, if you're gonna make complaints, make them valid, all right? fight after the end of that ladder. That's the longer. Oh, uh, so, what is wrong with your microphone? I can barely hear you though. Get 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 a get a better microphone, dude. I can barely hear you. I can barely hear you. Uh, and why why is your voice so dull? I mean I, I know my voice is dull too sometimes, but you're improvising. There's no excuse for you. I'm reading off a script. Let's, let's go on with this. A little music gig. Hold on, I, I didn't hear what you said. Get a better ladder. Honestly. I mean, sorry. Get, get a better microphone. And speak clearer. Before you criticize my voiceovers, alright? Speak clearer. You're improvising. I'm doing this off a script. It's not easy. I go in, into a, a little uh, sound booth. It's not easy. You know? But when, when you're acting by yourself, there's no one around, it, it's harder to do than when you're acting with someone else because acting with someone else you can play off them what i'm doing see that that is you know the sound booth i do my voiceovers and sometimes i've got a script and i do it you know what i do is i make sure every single word is clearly uh pronounced first my second objective is to put the emotion into the words and it's not easy to do you know the angry video game nerd he's uh he went to uh uh, acting. He's had this experience. I don't. I've been to Acting Essentials for four months, which taught you how to act with other people. Didn't really teach you how to do voiceovers by yourself. It's not easy, all right? Back to this. At least, uh, at least in the little music game, you don't have Alexander's face cut in. Oh, obviously. Obviously. Uh, in, in, I, I, come on. I, I, what was he even talking about?